In the city of New Orleans, there's still a lot of German. And behind that door, a little German, too. Name, Cameron Mack. Age, eight. Passion, concertina. We're out here two or three times during the weekend and every night before bed, usually. Cameron's parents didn't see this coming until their son brought home from school this toy accordion, which he tried to play. It's kind of hard, though. But that spark yeah. was all his dad um, needed. Craigslist. And then he got me this one for Christmas. A determined Cameron, last year, second grade. It was a little squeaky at first. But one year later, Cameron is taking his show on the road. Today, it's Cameron's great-grandparents being impressed. <laughs> it's heavier than he is. <laughs> Goodbye now. And Cameron is just getting started. Cameron has been taking lessons from Steve Raywitzer, his parents' garbage man, who also happens to have his own band. He likes to watch a lot when I play on the button side. He watches my fingers real close. I was excited because somebody younger than before I started wants to play concertina. By concertina standards, Steve is still a youngster. From all the kids I went to school with, there was not one that would have ever thought of picking up a concertina. No one. No one. Yet when asked to choose. That one right there and this one. Choose between the dirt bikes that earned him all those trophies and his concertina. Not a moment's hesitation. Concertina. Wait, what? Why? You get to make people happy. The way Cameron felt when he got what he wanted for Christmas. And he loves them. Every eight-year-old boy's dream, huh? <laughs> <laughs> A concertina and lederhosen. Sure, New Ulm celebrates its past by putting on a pedestal Herman the German. But its future belongs to Cameron, the concertinist. Boy Dupert, Care 11 News. There you go. <gasps> New Ulm. That a boy.